I'm Old Sneelock. Welcome to another episode of Old Sneelock's Workshop. Bob Weaver asked about chucks. He asked if I could show him how the different kinds of chucks worked. Well, I don't have all the chucks in the world. I'm sure there's some that I haven't seen and probably some I never will. But I'll show you what I have got. One of the oldest kind that I have is this one. It's called a set screw chuck. And it's used with a special kind of little drill. It's got a notch on the tang so that the set screw goes in and connects with that little notch and locks the bit in place. It'll take a standard square tang shank and it'll hold it pretty well, but you can pull the bit out if you're not careful. Now this is a pretty common kind. It has two jaws. Now this was designed to take the old style It slips right in there, locks in. That's one of the set screw style chuck bits. It'll also hold this kind. It will also grip a straight shank drill bit just like the kind you'd put in your quarter inch electric drill. Can't get that out. Now this is similar to that one, but instead of having the outer collar come off, the inner jaws slide back and forth. And it will grip all the various types that's the old set screw type that's the more modern type It'll even grip the standard straight shanked ones. As long as it's above 3 16 of an inch. Now this is one of my favorites. It's a ball bearing chuck. And it'll accept the old ones. The newer style ones. And the round ones. Regular old straight shank ones, like goes into your quarter inch drill. Then you get into these. These are uh, called an egg beater drill. And an egg beater drill has got three jaws instead of two, like these older styles. It'll grip right on down to a 
16th inch diameter drill bit. They were designed to operate at a higher RPM than the brace, which you need for these small diameter bits. Then you get into the larger egg beater drills, and these are also three jaws. They don't grip down quite as tight. So trying to put a 16th inch drill bit in there is going to be a bit risky. But 8th inch and up, they do just fine. Now this one is kind of unique. It's the Stanley number 75. And it was designed for installers. Guys who had to get in odd places and, and drill a hole. If you can get the nose of that in there, you can drill a hole. And it'll drill small holes. The chuck will take down to a sixteenth of an inch. Sixteenth of an inch, you got to be really gentle with it, though. You can drill a fairly large hole with it. Drilling a half inch hole in a piece of wood with this auger bit, pretty easy. Get much larger than that, you're going to want to come up with a better way of doing it. If you have any suggestions for a new video, questions about today's video, or any of the other videos on the channel, just drop a note in the comments. You know I read them all. Thanks for watching. Part 2 will be up tomorrow at noon. See you then.